This skill builder is called Charleston Sprints. The purpose of the exercise is to push yourself to make quick decisions during the Charleston. There are several reasons why you would want to do this. One is that when you play with an established group, most of them are probably going to be intermediate to advanced. If you want to be welcomed back, make quick decisions. Now they're going to give beginners some grace, but not for long. So you should practice at home with Charleston sprints. Another reason why this exercise is good is because it desensitizes you from the pressure of playing fast. And finally, if you ever decide to play in a tournament, you need to play a 12 minute game. This will force yourself to make quick decisions. Any mistakes you make can be recovered during the pick and discard phase of the game. So don't worry if you make mistakes when you're pushing yourself to make those quick decisions. For beginners, I think a good starting point would be to make decisions in under four minutes as an average. So do three sprints and then take an average. If you're under four minutes, I would say that's good. As you get comfortable making quick decisions, push yourself to make decisions in under three minutes. When you're comfortable making decisions in under three minutes as an average, push yourself to make decisions in under two minutes. If you can do that, you'll be ready for a tournament. First thing you need to do is decide if you want to be the dealer or non-dealer. Dealer gets 14, non-dealer 13. We're just going to say we're the dealer. So we're going to get 14 tiles. This mimics our drawn hand. I'm going to create the Charleston now. Right across left, left across right. Now we're going to do five laps. We'll hit start and then I'll hit lap in between. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up in between. Here we go. Okay, I believe in building around multiples. So we're gonna build around the eights. I'm thinking either two, four, six, eight, or consecutive run. And we have tiles we can pass right here. Little risky, all little odds. Oh, I could have passed that south, maybe. There's a green dragon, four, six, two, four, six, eight. Look at all this two, four, six, eight. Let's pass that, the south, and the seven. I think we should play two, four, six, eight. We're just going to gather every two, four, six, eight until we run out of discards, which is right about now. Now, four, eight, two, four, six, eight. Let's look at the two, four, six, eight category. There's a one suit, two, four, six, eight. We have a four, six, eight, two, four. Let's give up the six, the green and the eight. Okay, let's give up these three and focus maybe on one suit. There's a flower, let's keep it. Here's a two, four, six, eight, maybe the second hand down, two, four, six, eight with dragons. We gave up that green dragon though. Two, four, six, eight with flowers. Let's give up these. Let's pass these three. No keepers. We got a red dragon. That's not going to be helpful. We need a green dragon back. If you get a joker, just exchange it. We got a two. Let's pass these three for optional cross.
and then you stop it, lap. Okay, we got a four and a red and a three, three discards. But look what we have here. I think we could play probably the fourth hand down, pair of flowers, two, four pairs in cracks, then a six, eight. We probably need to use this joker for the six crack. Or we could play one suit, two, four, six, eight. I think I would discard these, but I think two, four, six, eight was definitely a good category here. So we have options, which is one reason why you want to build around multiples and gather for that category. Whatever category you pick, just gather because now we have options and we could even keep the four for a little while and see what comes in. I would discard these first. Okay. So I racked up two minutes, 24 seconds. As an advanced player, my goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. So I went a little long. I need to bring it down. We're going to do another one. Okay, we have right across left, left across right. Okay, so here we go. Pair of dragons, four, nine, six, four, nine, six. I don't think there's anything we can do with a four, nine, six. Now there is a six, four. Maybe we could play an addition hand, six plus four equals 10. Or we could do something with these dragons with something consecutive. Uh, let's see, three, four, five, six, two, three. Let's keep consecutive and give up on the addition because we have no flowers. Let's pass these three. If we're keeping four, five, six, we should keep the five and break up the nine. Four, five, six. There's a six, and we have tiles we can pass. Four, five, six. No keepers, but we did get a dragon. Five, six. Let's focus. Let's see. Four, five, six. Let's give up the red. Focus on four, five, six. There's a flower. And we need to pick a hand because we have only two discards. Let's do something with flowers. Four, five, dragon. Four, five, dragon. Mix suit. Fourth hand down. Or we could do four, five, six, and then seven. Either way, we didn't use those. Let's pass these three. No keepers. Let's pass these three and keep the dragon. Oh, wait, four, five, six, we need a seven dot. Actually, let's keep the six and pass the red because there is a four, five, six that we, oh, we need a seven dot. That's a bummer. There's a three though, three, four, five, six. Let's pass the six dot. Okay, no keepers. Let's pass those. Optional cross. Lap. Okay, we've got discards. That red dragon kept coming back. But look at all the options we have here. We could play three, four, five, six. Second hand down. We could play the third hand down. Flower. Four, five, six, seven dots, bams. We could also play, let's see. Three, four, five, six, 
dragon, third from the bottom, flower, three, four in pairs, five, six in pungs, and then a pair of red dragons right there. I would hold the greens as long as possible, pass these first. Okay, that was a pretty good Charleston. Three discards with a pair. This could be used to maybe get a joker out of an exposure during the pick and discard phase. I talk about that in strategy later in the lesson playlist. Let's do this one more time. Okay, we have, look at all those jokers. Seven, nine, six, nine. I think maybe we could play something with three, six, nine. Three, six, nine, or maybe a year. Let's keep the one. Let's pass these three. So three, six, nine category, or maybe the year. We have no eights. Ooh, there's an eight and a two. Okay, can't keep it all. Let's play three, six, nine. There is hands with dragons. Let's pass these three. There's a six. So we're just gathering every three, six, nine we can. Don't worry about what hand you're playing, just gather. There's a three and a six, gather. Don't worry about the hand till you run out of discards, which is right now. Flower, six, nine, three, six. Here's a multiple, build around the multiple. So we're going to reassess. Three, six, nine. We've got a flower. There are three, four hands with flowers. One of them has a dragon. Three, we don't have a three, three dot, nine dot, three bam. Let's see, three, six. I don't think we need the three. We can stop right there. The goal is to find a pass. We're still in the three, six, nine category. There's a white dragon and fours. We're on a cross pass, which we have to pass. So I'm thinking three, six, three, six, nine. We need the matching dragon for the six. So this is not going to be helpful unless we switch to like numbers with dragons. Let's switch and pass these three. Keep the six if we're playing like numbers. We're gonna we're gonna risk passing like numbers because look what we have here. There's a nine and a red. Three, nine, we don't need, let's see, six crack. Let's pass these three. No keepers here. Let's break this up a little bit. Pass these three for optional cross. Okay, lap. All right, now we have a pair, a red dragon, which we may or may not use. Sixes, like numbers with sixes. When you play three, six, nine, sometimes you end up collecting one particular number. We might still be able to play something with three, six, nine, because we have nines there. I think what I would probably do is discard those first, hold the nine, but focus on like numbers. Now the like numbers does not use dragons, so I don't think we're gonna be able to use these. I would hold them to see if I could maybe get a joker during the pick and discard phase of the game and focus probably on either three, six, nine or like numbers with sixes. We have all the sixes. This exercise is good for every player. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced. That was hard. If you have a set at home, give it a try. If you don't have a set, there's a link below the video to where you can get one. Let's see how I did with my timing. 
Sprint one, two minutes, 24 seconds. Sprint two, two minutes, 45 seconds. Sprint three, three minutes. I need to practice. Repetition leads to accomplishment. Practice, practice, practice. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next skill builder, may all your picks be keepers.